In this video, we will discuss two of the most common issues while installing the MATATD system. Malfunctioning controllers usually occur with long cable runs. These include accessories disappearing then reappearing on the system controller software, accessories stuck on the TOA loading screen, and in the case of the M800IO, no audio input or output is detected. All M8080D accessories have been tested to work with up to 100 meter cable distances. However, to achieve the maximum length, the use of shielded CAT5E cable with properly grounded connectors is required. Based on our testing, the issues mentioned here are often caused by either the use of the wrong cable, wrong connectors, and or improper termination of the shielded connectors. To understand why this is critical, we must understand that the signal going through to the connector cables are a mix of AES and RS-485 signals. Anyone familiar with these standards know that these require shielding to maintain signal integrity. They also need proper grounding of the shielded connectors on both ends to function properly. These signals will degrade as the cable lengths go longer and if they do not have proper shielding and proper grounding. This is why in some test cases we see that the shorter unshielded CAT 5E cable can work, but they are unreliable as the distance increases. If you ever have this issue, we suggest checking your cabling and terminations for proper grounding. Another common issue when configuring the MAT80 is the device not appearing when the nectar is scanned by the controller software or firmware update software. As mentioned on an earlier video, this is often caused because there is no DHCP server on the network. Without a DHCP server, the M8080 cannot get an IP address and thus cannot communicate over the network to the software. Another common issue that occurs is with security policy. Often in the cases where integrators utilize their client's network for configuration, their systems are being blocked by the network security policy. To prevent this from happening, we encourage proper coordination with the IT department of your client's network. Another simple way to avoid this issue is to use a simple home router on your deployments. These are the two most common pitfalls with M8080. If you have other questions, please contact TOA Technical Support. We will be happy to assist you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sound. TOA.